know if anybody's noticed this, but uh, it's right here. Bad boy right here. iPad Pro. Do a little bit of custom car audio stuff. That's the dash. And that's where all my jams are. It holds 256 gigabytes. How do you get the big one? Because you never know how massive your library is going to grow. You always want to go bigger, storage wise. Anyways, got the keyboard, Apple keyboard. Waste of money, honestly. Well, I mean, it works, works good. Good protector, it doesn't check the back. something to eat and uh whew, it's buggy out you just don't try to run the ac um because i'm, I'm a firm believer in uh trying to um preserve parts of your vehicle especially the ac when you got kids um you want to run the ac when you got your kids in the car obviously so, if you run it all the time, I put a lot of miles on my truck. If, if I ran the AC all the time for the past three years that I've had this thing, uh, I would have had to replace the AC at least once, and that's probably 600 bucks. So, in three years, I saved myself 600 bucks just by kind of just sweating it out. So when they do get in the truck, um, I know it's gonna work. I'm not worried. I mean, I'm still just a little bit worried, but I know it's gonna work because I preserved it. And that's something that I think a lot of people need to take into consideration is, what are we preserving for our children? Like it's the little things that we do, stuff like that, that we, we preserve. It, it makes us uncomfortable and that's fine. Um, who cares, just sweat a little bit. It's not a big deal. Your kids get in here and they're comfortable and I mean, that's what it's about, man. Like, when you have kids and there's other parts to this, but when you're an adult, man, you have to start contributing to society. Like, you have to really start giving back to it. Like, the world was your oyster when you were a child. So you just basically just came and went, did whatever you wanted to do. You were adventurous, you took from it. Um, you got to play in it, you got to destroy it, you got to build in it, um, pee behind trucks and cars and trees and stuff like that, man. And you fished and you, you killed fish because you didn't know how to take them back to the house, even though you're not supposed to take them back to the house. And you put them in fish tanks and tried to raise them and they died. Like, we were kids. We took from the land and we were creative. We got to be creative and as we grew up, we lost our creative mind and and what it's like to actually be part of the world. Like, we think we're part of the world, but honestly, we're in this little cage that we put ourselves in, away from everybody else, to where we're safe, like our elbow link, like this, this, this is my little bubble, okay? We get it, it's your bubble, and that's respectable, and that's commendable. Um, and I don't wanna intrude on that. What I'm saying is, your bubble is in my world, okay? So your bubble is rolling over and touching everything that I love, and I got a problem with that if it starts messing th things up, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about how we affect each other, how our bubbles um, affect our bubble. Our plural bubbles, our collective bubbles, affect our one bubble that we live in. That's what's called. Be right back. 